There is now a danger that has become a threat to us all. It is a deadly disease and there is no known cure. It was just 30 years ago that the biggest public health campaign in British history shocked us all into accepting a new epidemic. Everyone was petrified and a lot of people that I knew died very, very quickly and a lot of people I knew died in the 80s. I mean, it was one after the other. But whilst it's easy to think that AIDS is a thing of the past, here in the UK, the number of people with the virus which actually causes it still remains worrying. My name is Chris Van Tullican. These days, I spend most of my time in this lab at University College in London, and I study HIV, a virus that's infected 76 million people and killed 35 million of them. The good news? The NHS in England and Wales have just announced trials for a new drug that can prevent HIV. And in Scotland, it's available now. The bad news? There is still no cure. So I'm getting out of the lab to meet people living with HIV. He'd sort of spent the, the weekend in bed with what I thought was man flu, and, and then uh, it was three days later that he died. And I'll be questioning the scientists fighting the virus. Will we cure it? We're going to try, you know, and, and there's a real possibility. There are billions of pounds of research money being invested in labs like this all around the world. We now have powerful antiretroviral drugs that mean HIV doesn't have to be a death sentence. And PrEP, the new drug combination that's been all over the headlines recently, can prevent you catching it in the first place. But the battle is not over yet. I'll travel to the front line of the AIDS epidemic. She has lost six children. Yeah. Yes. Okay. To discover how science is racing to stop over a million deaths a year. We were able to, in our trial, diagnose 92% really? of those individuals who are infected. And I'll meet those dedicated to beating this disease. We have a responsibility, all of us, to destigmatize, to normalize the testing and, and encourage more and more people to get tested so that every six months or every year, whatever it be, you go and get tested for HIV just like you do everything else. Despite what many of us might think, HIV is still a problem in this country. There are over 6,000 new infections every year and the risks are now being taught to a whole new generation.